Yes, I'm going to speak to you from the topic today. You're on plan and you're right on track. The prophet Jeremiah wrote in the 23rd chapter, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Plans to give you hope in a future. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans are extremely important. When you don't have a plan, you don't have an outline for what you're trying to accomplish. Plans allow us to plot out a course for our dreams. They allow us to see the inner workings of our dreams and visions before they come to pass. Although human beings can create great plans, we never truly know how it's going to span out. That's why Solomon said in Proverbs in the third chapter, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not onto your own understanding. I want to replace that understanding word with plan. He said, in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel that all that I have to go by is my own understanding. Mm -hmm. It seems like God is silent at times, especially when I need the most direction. So instead of waiting on him or listening better, I choose what I feel is the next best thing. I use my own understanding. I've come to understand that it's not that God is silent. It's that we already have an answer in mind before we ask. Hmm. So instead of truly asking him for direction, we're merely soliciting him to affirm what we have already decided makes sense. I've also come to learn that when he answers because he will, he gives simple answers. He'll say things like, go. He'll say, wait. He'll say, it's time. Or sometimes he'll also let you know, just be still. Just don't move right now. Just be still. The problem is, the good thing is, God gives simple answers, but we don't like simple answers. You know, we think it should be more complicated than that. We always want the details. Uh, some examples of, of the things that he'll say is, he'll say, go, wait, now it's time. And also, one of the things that I like that the famous televangelist, uh, Joyce Meyer, said is that, is that God will say, go, and I'll show you. And we'll respond, show me, and I'll go. Mm -hmm. uh, we always want an explanation mm -hmm. before we start taking the next step. But God will only sometimes give us one word from his plan. But we have to trust that one word from his plan is better than a thousand words from our own plan. Mm -hmm. you know, I love the way that God <coughs> summed it up in the book of Isaiah. He says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Lesson number one, God says, my plan is better than your plan, so I need you to trust me. Part of knowing that you're right on track, is part of knowing that you're right on plan is knowing that you're right on track. Because sometimes in life it can easily seem like your life is off track. You know, you say to yourself that you should be married by now, you should have children by now, or you should be further along in your career by now. You know, oftentimes our plans don't always pan out the way that we want. But let me remind you of a wise, solid, a wise proverb that Solomon said. Solomon said, there is a way that seems right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Basically, what Solomon was saying was, your plans for the way that seems right to you can actually end up being death to you. In other words, your plans can be self-deceiving. And let me teach you a lesson. Self-deceivers prove to be self-destroyers. I want to encourage you today that you're right on plan and that you're right on track. My wife, uh, she bought me a GPS for Valentine's Day I have to admit, it's one of the best presents that I've ever received. <laughs> you know, the, I'm not the best with direction, so the feeling of knowing that you're never lost is the best feeling in the world. Yeah. So the thing that I love about the GPS is when I want to meet with some friends, it, it charts out a plan for me to get there. When I have an important business meeting, it allows me to avoid detours and highways, and it gets me there in the shortest period of time. But the feature that I love the most about the GPS occurs when I'm going in the right direction, I'm on the right course, and I miss where I'm supposed to turn. The thing that I love about the GPS is the GPS doesn't condemn me. It doesn't speak down to me. 
It doesn't yell out in frustration. Why weren't you paying attention? No, in fact, while I'm still going in the right direction or the wrong direction, it is recalculating a course for me to get me to the same destination. Hmm. And while I'm still going in the wrong direction, one of the things that I love about the GPS is it first finds me where I am. Hmm. Second, it erases all memory of the old plan because it is so excited about the new plan it has for me. You see, in my mind, I miss where I'm supposed to turn. In the GPS's mind, I'm exactly where it wants me to be. You might have missed your turn, but you're exactly where God wants you to be. You just have to know that you're on plan and that you're right on track. Thank you, Tosin. That was an excellent speech. We have some did we have some fantastic speeches My God, I'm so glad I came. I'm so glad I was here. God has a way of putting this breath.